Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Israel Brief, brought to you by Lay of the Land. I'm your host, Rolene Marks, bringing you today's top stories. And literally within the last hour, news has broken that after 37 years, the remains of fallen soldier, staff sergeant Zachary Baumel, who fell during the first Lebanon war, have been returned to Israel after being identified. Baumel was one of three soldiers who fell in the battle of uh, Sultan Yaqub, whose remains were never recovered. And... Uh, we thank him for his service and may his memory be blessed. In other top news, First Lady Nahama Rivlin was rushed to hospital last night after difficulty breathing. Now this comes nearly three weeks after the First Lady received a lung transplant. Uh, she, has, she suffers from uh, cystic fibrosis and uh, President Rivlin, who is in Canada at the moment, has cut short his trip and will return on the first available flight. In other news, one Palestinian was killed after tr he tried to stab Yeshua Sherman, an activist with the new Hayemeni HaChadash, or New Right Political Party. According to reports, the, uh, the terrorist ran up to the car, tried to open the door and stab Sherman. Sherman then got out of the, of the car and shot the terrorist and then uh, turned himself into authority saying, this is what happened and I, ki I killed the terrorist. And this all took place near the Betot Junction in the West Bank. And finally, it is less than a week to election. And hey, we haven't spoken about them for a few days. Very, very interesting polls today. Uh, Kahol Levan in the lead with an estimated 30 seats, followed very closely by the Likud with about 28 projected seats. Now, in this poll, it's quite interesting to note that, um, and the poll was conducted by the Israeli Democratic Institute, most younger people prefer that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu retain his position. And uh, most older people prefer that uh, Benny Gantz, the, the leader of the Kahol Levan party, takes the reins. And speaking about Benny Gantz in an exclusive interview with the Times of Israel, he made uh, remarks that while Prime Minister Netanyahu has done uh, phenomenal things in the past, he is now heading down a dangerous path and he said that uh, the democracy uh, is at stake and it's very very important that we all participate in these elections you know and he spoke about the prime minister possibly being indicted and he said that uh, if uh, there is no change in leadership uh, Israel could very much follow a Turkish system so uh, a, a very very uh, interesting and very blunt interview given by Gantz, who many feel is maybe a little bit too quiet, who maybe is the antithesis of Netanyahu in that we don't hear from him that often, but uh, this is all changing as we are in the finish line towards next week's elections. Now don't forget, you can check out Lay of the Land online at www.layoftheland.online and uh, tonight we have the second in our series of uh, articles, well, a two-part series of articles on Gaza written by me, yours truly, and uh, it's an analysis of the situation in the South and, uh, you know, wh who's provoking who and is the excuse that global, warning, uh, global warming or uh, lightning launched my rockets really a legitimate excuse? Read the article and uh, you decide. You can also join our Facebook page. You can like, you can follow us on Facebook at Lottle Site. That's at Lottle Site. And click on the link below and subscribe to receive your daily edition of the Israel Brief. Uh, next week, I'm on location in the United States. So I will hopefully be bringing you the Israel Brief from Miami, where I'll be attending the WITSA USA uh, National Conference. I'm so excited to be there, and I will update you from there. So uh, for today's edition of the Israel Brief, I'm Raleigh Marks, and we'll chat again tomorrow.